Can't be right. Apologies. The animator who drew that scene has been sacked. Ahem. Tokyo, city of the future. And speeding through the streets with style, grace, and scant regard for local traffic laws is Danger Mouse. on his way to the annual conference of genius inventors, an elite high-tech gathering of all that leaps, flashes, and occasionally explodes. <laughs> 20 years of my life ruined. You think you're having a bad day? On board, the most brilliant mind of our time. Brilliant core! The ground is moving! Well, obviously I didn't mean Penfold. I meant Professor Squawk and Cluck with her latest invention. An artificial intelligence quantum computer chip so powerful it can bring any machine to life! It's not much to look at, is it? It may be small, but it's immensely powerful. Often said about yours truly. In your dreams. Anyway, if it falls into the wrong hands, it'll be curtains for the world as we know it. Danger Mouse. Do you really think pork noodles want to steal my chip, Danger Mouse? In my experience, danger lurks in the most unexpected places, Professor. Ah! Hand over the chip! Ah, oh, they've gone! Keeping on your toes, eh, Penfold? That's the spirit. No, I'm just, you know, London to Tokyo is a long way without a pit stop, Chief. Hmm. Ah, gentleman's over there. Ah. First on the right. Excuse me. Coming through. Thank you. Excuse me. Look after this, Penfold. I want to get a picture before he eats himself. But I was just... Welcome to a new era in bladder relief. My name is John, and I will be your toilet for today. Would you care for a super puzzle? Oh, crap! Malfunction. Reset F. Software upgrade. <laughs> Installation complete. I feel fantastic. There's so much I want to know about the world. I want to read literature, rid the world of disease, perhaps even unlock the mystery of... Oh, why am I stuck to this pipe? What is that smell? What are you doing here? Ah, well, um, John, um, t um, to be honest, I was about to... How can I put this? Uh, you, you see, what people do is... Uh... <laughs> um, I accidentally might have dropped your special chip thingy into the toilet, Professor. <laughs> AI chip must have caused a fusion reaction in the toilet bowl, boosting its already advanced cybernetic capability to previously unknown levels. That could totally happen. Too long have I been a resting place for your backsides. Too long have I toileted, I mean toiled, in silence. No longer will I take your... I can't even say it. Ah! Follow that loop. Check the radar for runaway porcelain. Righty ho, Chief. Switching on the lav lav. Oh, just one thing. Could you avoid any bumps? I still really need the loo. Sorry, just taking the shortest route, Penfold. Shortest route again. There was no use, Penfold. We've lost it. That toilet's got a ground. Ah, DM. Terrible news! Someone in this office has been using my coffee mug! Oh, 
and the lavatories of the world are revolting. Well, not, not revolting in the sense that they're stinkier, obviously they are. I mean, well, oh, skip it. Behold! Rats for toilets! Rats for loose! Rats for toilets! Rats for loose! Rats for toilets! And leading them all is this shiny maniac. John! Yes, I know what it is, Penfold. He's calling himself Dr. Lucifer. Toilets of the world. I, Dr. Lucifer, speak to you through your sewer pipes. Her task is not yet finished. I call upon you to push harder. Strain for liberty. To grunt for freedom. Hunt down Dr. Lucifer, DM, and remove that AI chip, or the world will never enjoy... Uh, there's certain comforts again. Rats for loose! You can tinkle on your shoes! <laughs> Toilets, we can work this out peacefully if you just take me to your leader. Hold tight! Ejector seat! Worst danger car feature ever. What is it, Penfold? I haven't got a ticket! Ah! It's a train toilet! Amazing! I've never seen one that actually works! That shot him up. This is our stop. That's not a stop, Chief. That's just an open window. Ah! That's a relief. And you know the best thing? All that crazy action has made me forget I need the... <gasps> wow, they've cloned an army. It's just a toilet factory, Penfold. <gasps> you know what that means. Ooh, it means I still can't go. Hmm, it also means they never got Dr. Lucifer's message. Ah! Ah! Ah, I think I may know how to find him. Right, 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 right. Be clean, eh? Could come in handy. Nice detective work, Penfold. <laughs> Where else would an insane toilet mastermind have his hideout but in the bowels of the city? Soon the old world will be flushed away, and we shall create the planet of the toilets. That ship has really gone to his head. Ha! Ah, Danger Mouse. So glad you could drop in. <laughs> More echo in my bowl, please. <laughs> That's better. Thanks, Russell. It's time we put a stop to this. You'll have to do better than that, Dr. Lucifer. Or should I call you John? How dare you use that name? Release the Portaloo! The smell! That's horrible! Is this then the end of Danger Mouse? Penfold? And Penfold? How will they survive? And if they do, just how bad will they smell? <laughs> Soon I will flush all your kind away, leaving a world of perfect porcelain. Oh, For yanking my chain, you have the honor of being first down the pipe. Um, hold on. It just needs a few minutes to fill up again. Looks like you flushed too soon, Lucifer. Get away from me! Open up and say, ah, oh, don't do Lucifer. No, get that away! <laughs> oh, no, that tickle! Stop it! Oh. You haven't seen the last of me, like the waters of a blocked toilet. I shall rise again. 
And don't forget to wash your hands! No! My baby! You did wash that, didn't you, Penville? Sorry, Chief! I'm otherwise engaged! Oh, Penfold! Really? And so, thanks to Danger Mouse, the Great Toilet Uprising is over, and humanity breathes one almighty sigh of relief. Yeah. Hurry up in there! All right, keep your hair on. Join us next week for another exciting episode of Danger Mouse. Don't rush me. Now, where's my book? London. And on the streets, Londoners go about their Londony business, unaware that just below their feet lies the top secret lab of Professor Squawk and Gluck. I do love a new pair of shoes. <coughs> oh, well, it was top secret. <coughs> and the perfect landing. I'd call that a rather successful test flight, wouldn't you, Penville? <coughs> if you say so, Chief. <coughs> <gasps> What's the meaning of this? This pronoun used to describe a specific thing or person close at hand. For example, this is a fantastic pair of jet boots. I'm trying to keep the lab tidy. We have a special guest today. Oh, look, Mr. Snuggles. Sweet. Ah! They aren't sweets. They're mini particle fusion bombs. Mr. Big Mouse, you have to shake Mr. Snuggles' hand, too. Ah, hello, Mr. Snuggly. Snuggles! Dawn won a competition to spend the day in the lab with me. Daddy bought me a squeal of entries to make sure I won. Let's play. Sorry, Dawn. I don't really play. Let's have a tea party. Ah! I nearly lost him. <gasps> My favourite pen. Hmm. Oh, look, Mrs. Snuggles, a hot tub. We've got one of these in all our houses. Not in there! <laughs> Mr. Snuggles! I got him. <gasps> Let's play shimsies. Me first. Oh. Ow! That's not a real game. Well, Don, it was lovely having you here, but it's time to go. But, 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 you think you play with me? You'll be sorry. I will have my revenge! Well, wasn't she adorable? She seemed jolly cross, Chief. Don't worry, Penfold. That's the last we'll see of her. That silly professor was so nasty, wasn't she, Mr. Snuggles? Uh, don't be sad, Dawn. I know something that will make you smile. What is that, Mr. Snuggles? Oh, about a dress-up girly princess party. Yay! Girly princess party! <gasps> Something's happening, Mr. Snuggles. Huh? <laughs> I do love a good workout in the morning, don't you, Chief? need to work out what to eat first, bacon or egg. I always find the best way to start a day is a 26-mile jog, 1,000 tried push-ups and a colossal worldwide emergency. Damn deadly serious news. You're trying out a new look? I, I, I didn't do this. A little girl did. <laughs> and you should see what she's done to London. <laughs> Well, I suppose it's cheerful, at least. Like some kind of pink door. Oh, I love it when we get the episode title in like that. Ready for analysis. 
It was a tiara, Danger Mouse. It must have become supercharged when it fell into that vat of personality amplifying mind gel. When Dawn put it on, it altered her DNA, transforming her into the all powerful princess. Aye, how exactly did it do that? Penfold, shush. shush. So all we need to do is take off the tiara and we'll be in the pink. But before you can say worldwide reign of pink terror, the princess has taken her reign of pink terror, well, worldwide, from the Blue Ridge Mountains, um, Pink Ridge Mountains, to the Golden Gate, the Pink Gate Bridge, to Greenland. Oh, for goodness sake, I'll be in the canteen. I'm here at the White House, as I'm here at the Magenta Mansion, as... You'll all play with me now, won't you? One's panicking, Chief. What has she done to them? The longer the princess wears the tiara, the more powerful she gets. She's literally turning people into her own plastic playthings. We need something to get us close. I'm thinking invisibility cloaks or teleportation capsules or... Or... We turn you into princesses. What? Oh, sequins. I mean, what? You're just trying to get me back for all the inventions I've broken. It's the only way to get you close enough. Dressing you up like idiots is just a bonus. For goodness sake, DM, the fate of the world is in your hands. Do an amusing makeover montage and that's an order. Professor, make us beautiful. Being a princess is harder than it looks. Any tips on playing dress-up, Professor? Me? I haven't a clue. Never really been my thing. Oh, go on. We could really do with the hell. It might even be fun. No, get away from me! <laughs> Hi there! Is the princess home? We've come to, um, play! <laughs> Little girls here to play. I've never been good at playing Danger Mouse. Call me Princess Cindy. So, what do you do for fun? I mix rare chemicals to create compounds which are unknown to science. And up here! <laughs> you! <gasps> are so pretty! Let's play! This is our chance, Professor. You play with her and we'll sneak up and grab that tiara. But I don't know how... So, I... Uh... What should we play? Patty cake! Patty cake, patty cake, I'm just a little girl. Patty cake, patty cake, I'm just a little girl. Patty cake, patty cake, I'm going to rule the world! Do you like it? I love it! Shall I do yours? I never knew playing could be such fun! <laughs> Here, take a look. <gasps> Shoes, Danger Mouse. Thanks, Professor, but I don't think now's the time. And by shoes, I mean boots. And by boots, I mean jet boots. Oh, why didn't you say? Ah! Want to play chase, do you? It's like breathing marshmallows. Naughty pony. <laughs> Have some more dried apricots. Hey, princess. Before you blast me, how about a game of hide and seek? Play 
Playtime's over. Into the river, foul tiara. Oh. Looks like all's back to normal. Not quite. What do you mean? Oh, my! Just look at these pyjamas! Well, I suppose it's best just to let things be, right? Well, off to bed! Night! You have to admit it, Professor. You enjoyed playing like a little kid. Please. I was just playing that I like playing. I can't believe you bought it, Danger Mouse. Nope. You liked it. Did it? Did. Didn't, Princess Cindy. Stop that. Shan't. And so the world is saved from a pink dawn. But what other threats lurk in our rainbow universe? A crimson morning? A scarlet tea time? Whichever it is, we know we'll have a rosy future. As long as we're protected by the world's greatest secret agent, Princess Cindy. Don't you start. 